And we, oh, watch out, watch out. Oh, God. About 36 hours after the snowstorm started, the final flakes are fluttering across Colorado's front range and high plains. Hey, just another day at Valley here in Tahoe. <laughs> Western portions of the Denver metro area saw 20 to 24 inches of snow, while some of the highest elevations in the front range picked up around 4 feet. Many schools and businesses remained closed Friday, including the University of Colorado at Boulder. At the height of the storm, a major section of Interstate 70 was closed west of Denver. Colorado Springs posted a calendar day record of 10 inches Thursday, and the most in a single day since the late 1990s. It was the biggest winter storm in three years or more in many locations. Oh, Routes such as Route 6 over Loveland Pass remained closed Let me just show you morning. what's going on and explain the situation. So this is Donner Summit, I-80, and thousands of vehicles are trapped. After hundreds of flight cancellations on Thursday, additional delays are expected at Denver International Airport on Friday. As the snow stops falling and temperatures rise on Friday, road conditions are expected to gradually become less hazardous. Tens of thousands of people also lost power, with about 15,000 homes still in the dark early Friday, according to online tracker power outage. Just want to check my vehicle and make sure everything looks all right, working all right. All that looks good. License plates a little fr Although many feet of snow fell in the foothills, this storm may go down in the books as a forgettable storm in Denver, since official weather records are kept at Denver International Airport, a few blocks from downtown. City about 15 miles east. While final storm loads are still making landfall, some of the highest totals from the foothills and Interstate 25 corridor west of Denver include 26 inches in Yellow, 25 inches in Lone Tree, 22 inches in Ponderosa Park, 20 inches near Boulder, 13 inches in Aurora, 11 inches in Federal Heights. Snow amounts fell sharply east of the city and the airport to just 6 inches.
Counts increased to 8 to 12 inches downtown and up to 15 to 24 inches in the west and southwest suburbs. <laughs> Across the Front Range, from around Estes Park to west of Loveland and then south to Woodland Park, west of Colorado Springs, many spots reported 2 to 4 feet of snow, including 62 inches north of Idaho Springs to west of Denver. This is downtown Truckee. Okay, come on, jump up, jump up. Before this storm, locations east of the Rockies and the Colorado High Plains typically had slightly below average snowfall for the season, and that remains true even after this storm. But many mountainous areas of the west get abundant snowfall, which is fueling this storm. The long-term average snowfall in Denver is about 48 inches, and after this storm, the snowfall total of 35 inches is still below that number. However, average rainfall will increase by about 10 inches through late spring, so additional storms could help close the gap. Farther south, snowfall in Colorado Springs so far yeah, is more than a foot above yeah, average. This is my car, I dug it half out. Um, so this is just the last night. So this is the last 12 hours because like I cleared it off last night. That's the tip of my windshield wiper. You can barely see it. Well, hopefully. Thursday's 10. Two inches of snow marked one of the heaviest snowfalls in decades. The last time more rain fell in one day was April 24th, 1997, when it fell 11. Please join us every day to stay updated with weather information. Don't miss out. Click the register button to support us.